like we talked about the importance of having a catchy headline, right? When writing for uh, uh, writing a blog, a catchy caption is also very relevant in social media, right? So it's important for us, right, to work with tools. It is easier when we work with tools that basically guide us on how to craft a, a perfect headline, right? So we have tons of headline analyzer, right? The Advanced Marketing Institute analyzer actually analyzes emotional value to the headlines, right? So I actually prefer the headline from Co-Shadow. The Co-Shadow headline analyzer gives us different suggestions and have a lot of word banks for us to actually enhance our headlines. We can also switch from headlines to captions, captions on YouTube and other social media platforms. So let's head on to the headline analyzer. So we have the headline analyzer open to us now. So I suggest you just go ahead and sign in, right? So if you don't have an account, it will prompt you to create one, okay? But the easiest thing to do is to sign in, just go ahead, click sign in and sign in using your Google account, okay? So one very great feature of the Headline Studio or Headline Analyzer from uh, Co-Shadow is that it has a free WordPress plugin that can help you integrate the headline analyzer to your blog page so that while typing in your title, it basically tells you how you're performing and gives you suggestion on how to make your headline better. Okay. So you have two options here to get started with the headline analyzer. You have the, gen the analyze and the generate. Okay. So you can generate topics, right? Just give it ideas and generate topic, or you can analyze topic. And it's you can basically generate topics or caption for various platforms. Okay, let's click on analyze. And so we can go ahead and analyze a, a new headline. This is what I was trying to show earlier. You can basically generate headline or captions for different platforms, okay? So our interest now is for the blog. Let's go ahead and check this topic. So we'll be writing a blog post on how to boost your immune system naturally. So we want to see if this headline will perform very well, if it's catchy enough, right? So let's analyze this headline and see. We click on analyze to analyze the headline. So these are our results here. The headline analyzer says our headline scores 72. It's a good score, but kind of tell but kind of tells us that we need to have a great word balance, right? Our headline type is great, our reading grade level is great, the sentiment is nice, the clarity is okay. If you want to basically see what it means or the different sections, you can basically click on them to take you across the sections instead of just scrolling, right? Under the headline score here, you can click on word balance to take you to the word balance section, right? It tells us that our common word, we have 43%, but suggest we decrease the number of our common words in our headline so that we improve our score. It says that great headlines usually consist of 20 to 30 percent of common words. That is to tell us that at 43 percent, we are way able the range. Okay, so what are common words? It gives it the color yellow, and you see the common words here are how to uh, your how to and your right. These are the common words. We can basically say how to boost immune system naturally. We can reduce the common words by at least removing your. 
So on common words, we have no on common words. It's at zero percent. It says we should increase the number of uncommon words in our headlines to improve our score. Great headlines usually consist of 10 to 20 percent of uncommon words. Emotional words. We have zero emotional words. We have also two power words. Okay. And the professional tip here is that emotional words should be about 10 to 15 percent. So now, why I like this platform is that it doesn't stress me. I don't have to go and start studying what emotional words are, what power words are, and so on. We have word banks, right? I can basically open word banks to all of the words. I can open the emotional word bank, and I have all the emotional words available to me. You can see we have the positive sentiments and we have the negative sentiments based on what we want to reflect. So we have the positive sentiments words and the words that reflect negative sentiments, right? So let's look at our headline, how to boost your immune system naturally. If we wanted to make it, if we wanted to make it have more emotional words, we could basically find emotional words that can match our topic, right? So let's use emotional word reliable, right? And when you click on the, the word, it tells you what it gives, the positive emotion, right? And basically tells you the synonym to use, the adjective, okay, and so on. So it's a lot. So let's see how to add the word reliable here how to boost your immune system naturally let's say with our reliable booster okay so when we add this we have to reanalyze but there's something i'd like to point out our headline is becoming so long so let's remove your right because of the number of common words all right, so we have power words. Now we have picked an emotional word, okay? One suggestion I'll give is you find a way to create headlines that reflect numbers of ways. For instance, five great ways, five awesome ways, of, or five reliable ways, okay? Let's see. Um, so our blog post will have six steps. Okay, we can say six steps to boost immune system naturally with our reliable booster. Okay, so let's basically reanalyze this and see what we have. All right, so we have reanalyzed this. We've had a greater score, 78, right? It's a nice score. We have a greater score. We have a word count of 11 and character count of 66. So we're about six over the margin of 60, right? And one short of the margin of 12. It says the headline with around 12 words tend to end the highest number of click throughs And headlines that are 60 characters long tends to end highest number of click throughs So on character counts. So on the suggestion here, it's suggesting we increase our emotional words, increase on common words and increase common words. But there's something I like to point out, right? Is that your headline must not basically match every suggestion. You basically can work on the suggestions based on your audience, right? Now we have common words, right? And the common words have been reduced to 18%. So it is basically better than having it too much because Common words actually reduce a searchability because those common words will take away the space for words that could have been used in uh, key phrases where people will search using queries. Okay. So on common words now we have zero. Emotional words we have 9%. One short of the 10% recommendation, which is good. On the power words we have two. And we are good to go because great headlines usually include at least one power word or phrase. So it's good, right? 
So our reading grade shows that the headline will be easy to read. That is between eighth to ninth grade of reading level. It's easy and the clarity is clear. The sentiment is positive because we have reliable immune boosts here as positive words. All right. Then for skimmability, it says your keywords or topic is buried in your headline, right? Making it difficult for readers to skim. Improve your score by moving your keywords or topic to the first or last three words. So the topic here is that they are selected is immune system, right? But if in your case, this is not the topic key area, it shouldn't bother you, right? It shouldn't bother you at all. Because what they mean is that when you search on Google, for instance, when you search immune products, right? You see, I'll have to really just skim through to see, right? To see what I need instead of reading in details. So they are trying to say that the skimmability is, is poor because they feel immune system here should be my focus or uh, the audience focus. Okay. So they are suggesting that we move them to either the first or last three words. That is either move them here to where we have six steps to, or where we have a reliable booster. That is their recommendation, which is actually very appropriate and correct. Because when you want to look, look at this topic now, immune system, vitam vitamins, it makes me want to click here when I'm talking about immune uh, products because I see immune system vitamins. However, if I was to sell immune products, I wouldn't just go to the 15 best supplement. I would just basically pick vitamins to boost, right? But if I want to look deeper, I want to look at a blog that gives me more option, right? So it's your choice. Either to stick with skimmability or stick with uh, readers who have the time to look through, okay? Now, that is it. So you can basically work with this to work on your content heading. This is how it's going to look on our search. Six steps to boost immune system naturally with our reliable booster. Okay? So what if you wanted to test for YouTube? Say you want to create a title for YouTube. You can also do the same by selecting YouTube and then reanalyze. Okay? It's going to tell you what is recommended. See, YouTube is seven char 70 characters are recommended 12 words for the word count are recommended then it's going to give you other tips on how to make your title catchy okay you can test all of this on linkedin basically analyzes on linkedin and gives you what it should be on linkedin right the seo score stands okay but it tells us our quality is 87% high, okay? Then gives you ways to that you can work on it and tells us that on average, we can get a search of over 10,000 and tells us how that a healthy amount of people search for this keyword phrase, which makes it worthwhile to publish this headline. Yeah. So, so you see our performance here on LinkedIn and you could, you will say, oh, wow. Because it's this headline is going to be really catchy and will have a lot of clicks on LinkedIn. Why? Because usually these target audience are professionals that have high stress lifestyles and will definitely need to have or read through such content, right? So let's look at it. Our keyword density is 50% and it's a moderate density. Then our average monthly search over 10,000, right? Then our search competition is low, which makes it very good because they, you said there aren't many headlines that already exist about this topic. So your audience has a good chance of finding your headline. So you see now that usually the focus on channels or platforms like LinkedIn will be to promote job job satisfaction and so on and so forth so a company bringing such a product like immune booster will say okay we'll have to 
have identified their persona and as professionals who have tight work schedules, who don't have the time to exercise and the time to rest and so on. So where are uh, or where will such audiences be and what tool will they use? They will definitely use a business to business tool such as LinkedIn. So you see that right now is not a niche that people have really taken taken into consideration on platforms like LinkedIn because people have basically not thought about it. And that is why this platform tells us, Co-Schedule tells us that our competition is low. And if we were to post this on LinkedIn, it will make a whole lot of meaning. Then let's look at the topic trend. It said it's a hot topic that uh, our topic is super trendy and really growing in popularity. It suggests increased demand for your headline in months to come. Okay, so you see how this works. Okay, so what if we were to test the topic, the original topic we had? Let's look at the original topic we have, we had rather, which says how to boost your immune system naturally. Let's test this on LinkedIn. How to boost your immune system naturally. So on LinkedIn, let us reanalyze for LinkedIn and see. We have 72% score and our word counts and character counts shows us 741. So we have searched for this uh, headline. So let's look at the headline score, which is 72. And we basically look at how it's going to appear on LinkedIn. So now we see our word count, our character count, and then basically how the suggestions to make our uh, title better. Then when you come to the headline, it says it's a how to headline, which draws readers by creating a sense of control and promise of information about how to do something is a good headline. The how to headline is a good headline. Then the, the reading level is low, which makes it good and makes it easy for readers, it's clear. Then I want to you to look at the skimmability we talked about earlier. So this is great because the topic immune system is among the last three. It should either be in the first three the, or the last three, right? Which makes it good. So let's see our SEO, right? Our SEO score is 85%. Our keyword quality is 87%, which makes it a high quality, right? Because it's using immune system as a keyword so now if you hover over the keyword you are going to see the average monthly searches over 201,000. the search competition is very low and the keyword trend is about 1.6 thousand all right so this tool also basically saves you the, the stress of going to research keywords and so on and so forth you could basically just look at all of the metrics here that will help you work on it. So on average month search, we have over 10K. While the competition is low, which makes it good. On the trend, it's also a hot topic, which is growing in trend. It basically gives us these metrics, which is good for us. If you look at the score, right? Headline scores. You see the headline scores of others, how to boost your immune system. These are scores, right, of others right now that are currently on the web right we can basically open this in new tabs you see that this tool is not just making these metrics up but actually helping you to research your keywords and as well as your headline strength 